Hello guys, Jonathan here from Lopez Creative and welcome once again to another transition tutorial. So today we will show you how to make this kind of nice, funny, I don't know how to describe it. Nonsense, No, not nonsense. But maybe just kind of cool, fall on the clip transition. So the first thing you need to do is to shoot your two clips. The first shot is when you act like you fall on the ground. And on another one, find something that you can jump from it. And that's it. And let's go to the editing. You can actually use other video editor here, but here we're going to use Premiere Pro. So here's the first clip. And this one is the second clip. So let's move on to the first clip. And let's expand that one. We are looking here for the part where I almost fell down, at least half of my body. I think we can have this one and let's cut it. And let's move it on top. And now let's work on the other clip. Let's move it closer together. And here we need to work at the other part of the shot. At least the other half of my body where we can put below the upper half part. So let's see. I think let's have this so let's cut here. So we don't need this part and let's remove it. The rifle delete so it will move again to the last part, the other clip. Let's expand this once again. So if I click this eye icon here, it would reveal the other clip below. So let's move over to the last frame of the clip on top. And on the clip below, cut it here so that they will be the same frame size. So we will be working on and animate these two clips. Let's click on the first clip on top. And we need to adjust the positioning. Let's have this key frame. We need to adjust the Y positioning vertically. So let's adjust it at least halfway. And let's move again for the last key frame at any portion of the clip. And here in the last key frame is where the entire clip had disappeared. So let's move the positioning. And once we're done, move the key frame to the last frame of the clip. And as you can see, as I move the key frame, this clip on top also animates. And now we are done with that part. Let's work now on the clip below. And here we will apply the same thing we did with the clip on top. Let's key frame once again the position. So here, as you can see, as we move this clip below, it's not in proportion with the upper clip. So here we need to adjust the scale so as to match it with the top clip so that the two bodies will match. And now we need to adjust the exposition horizontally. So once done, let's move over and key frame the last part of the clip and set it to default. So if we move over, as you can see from this timeline, the two clips now animates. You don't need this to be perfect as this is very quick for the eye to be noticed. Alright, so what I want now is to blend the two clips together by applying a mask. So let's do the masking. Click on the draw bit here and place marks it between the two clips. Let's adjust a bit and drag this down and click invert it. Let's adjust the mass expansion and then the mask feather. You can experiment with the mass expansion and the mask feather here. And once satisfied, 
We will animate the mask by clicking the mask path. So let's click play, so it will do its own tracking. So we will see that it moves, but seems that there are imperfection, we can track frame by frame and adjust the mask. So we're done, and let's play from here, and once more using sound effects. Alright, so if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Please watch out for my upcoming uploads. And again, thanks for watching and God bless always.